ice sheets, saber-toothed tigers, and woolly mammoths. The Ice Age sounds like a cool time, but what caused it? Ironically, you need warmer sea surface temperatures to get an Ice Age started. Extra heat would make more water vapor that would cool high in the sky and then fall as rain or snow. Lots of snow. But were the oceans once warmer? The Bible tells us that during the Genesis Flood, the fountains of the deep were broken up. This coincides with geologic evidence of past volcanic activity. Dramatic eruptions released untold quantities of magma and steam into the waters that once covered the globe. Since water holds heat, even after it receded off the continents, those warmer oceans would have led to more snowfall. And that's how we can explain the way the Ice Age began. But for it to continue, the snow would have needed to stay frozen all summer long. The flood explains this, too. Aerosols, tiny particles released from flood-associated volcanoes, would have reflected sunlight away from Earth, preventing the snow from melting. Once the aerosols dissipated, enough sunlight would have eventually broke through to warm summers and melt ice. In just hundreds of years, the peak of the Ice Age was here and gone. This cool time period that we call the Ice Age clearly requires hot oceans and volcanic debris, definitely caused by catastrophic events. Secular scientists believe that slow and normal processes, not a global flood, caused many Ice Ages over eons. But without a worldwide catastrophe, they can't explain the heat and aerosols needed for even one Ice Age. We can fully trust God's Word, which gives us the clues to explain the recent Ice Age.